There's a huge difference in being alive and having a pulse and really, truly living. I want to begin today by asking you a question. If I were to give you a huge piece of paper that was totally blank and as big as this room and a box of, let's say, 10,000 colors, and I asked you to draw what represented your life right now, what kinds of pictures would you draw if you were totally truthful? <laughs> Truth is things as they really are, not like I looked in high school. <laughs> what would your business look like that, on that paper? What would your personal life look like? What would your relationships look like? What about your physical self or your non-physical self? When you were born, quite literally, you were given a board of creation, but it wasn't as big as this room. It was as big as the entire universe. And there were no end to the colors that you could draw, to the pictures that you could draw. There was no end or no limitation to that. And even though each of us have been given that great, great capacity to create, it is my experience that so many people draw stick figures in their lives around the borders and around the edges of their pages. Why is that? Why do we do that? Why do we not live out our full capacity? I believe it's because we have an education of scarcity. Think about it. From the time that you were born, your experience in limitation began. How many times, how many experiences did you have that taught you that there wasn't enough time that you didn't have enough money, especially, who's hearing that a lot right now? This is a perfect message for this time. That there wasn't enough creativity, or you weren't old enough, or a number of things. Think about when you were a child. I have a six-year-old, and he is so full of energy and imagination and capacity to create. On his first grade paper, when he writes, I want to be an astronaut, it has never occurred to him that that is not possible. Riding a bike and going to the moon are in the same category for him. <laughs> and far be it from me, I will never tell him otherwise. Because when I was a child, I lived like that. And I bet when you were a child, you did too, until what happened? Until we started to have experiences that taught us otherwise. Until there was a 10-speed bike and you were seven, did somebody say to you, you know what? Your legs are growing every day. Very soon, you're going to get on it and ride it, and you're going to be amazing. Or were you told, you're too small, and all of your life experiences leave messages in you? And so what did you hear? I am too small, and there was a thin layer of conditioning that was placed around you and placed in front of you. Let's say you wanted to take horseback riding lessons. It's not a necessity. Did someone say to you, if that's important to you, let's create money for that. You can be a part of it. We'll do it together. Or did they say, we don't have money for that? How many times were you told that? And so part of it, sure, was the experience of horseback riding. And part of it became a part of your conditioning. And it was another bar. And it was another layer. And it happens layer after layer after layer. From the time we begin to breathe in and out on the planet, we are breathing in this culture of scarcity. And we take it in, and it gets inside of us, and then it grows, and then we exhale it into our own lives. And those are what we begin to produce. And we become a part of the system until we don't anymore. And so you, when you entered the world, were literally given a boundless, limitless space that you could create anything you wanted in any way that you wanted to. That is at the core of who you are. And then layer after layer, year after year, experience after experience, it was blocked and blocked and blocked. And that is why we have so many adults who end up feeling so afraid and who end up not creating to their capacity, feeling, knowing, believing, and living a very small life. Today, we're going to get rid of those blocks. That's what we're here to do. And to reinstate you as a full autonomous creator in your own life. Because if it's not you, it isn't going to be anyone. No one else is coming to do that. It's either you or it doesn't happen at all. 
And so it's our time to reclaim what rightfully has always belonged to us and to take it back. <laughs>